Yo, it's me, it's me, it's that fearless unburdened attack and hit Monlee. Today everybody, this video will be something new I'm bringing to the table. My first ever theory video. This will be based on some research I have done and everything I feel is necessary to discuss with every single one of you. Now, I don't want any bashing once you've watched everything. This is just my overall opinion behind this theory I just thought of, and a nice discussion will be suitable. Have your popcorn and tissues by your side because this will be a doozy. I'm sure you all remember this little guy. Yep, this is Butterfree. More specifically, this is Ash's Butterfree. We were all there for Season 1 Episode 3 when he caught his Caterpie, and it evolved later on in that same episode to become a Metapod, and then the episode after evolved to Butterfree. Butterfree has been with Ash for 18 episodes, fighting against a Samurai, a Beedrill, Misty, Bulbasaur, Sanchu, Raticate, being traded, being traded back, and then being released to get busy. But we all remember the episode Bye Bye Butterfree. It was a tough episode to watch because it was strong, emotional, and the first Pokemon Ash fully evolved. To see him go away was heartbreaking, but to see him be happy was amazing. And then, we never got to see him again. The question is, why? I mean, I get it. The mating season was meant to, he was meant to be with their significant other and be in another area, but you would think Butterfree would return to help Ash in the Indigo League. I mean, that would have been a cool idea because Butterfree would definitely be a good asset for Ash to be in the league. Well, he was in the league, but to help him probably get a little farther, probably. But he didn't. Now it makes me wonder. Where is Butterfree? I assume he's still with his love, still roaming free together forever, but not in how you think. I've looked up researches on Butterfly, technically the Monarch Butterfly, since Butterfree pretty much resembles a Monarch, and what I found, the Monarch Butterfly, Butterfly, sorry I can't English, lives in the lifespan of two to six weeks. Wow, and since it's been a long time when Ash got himself into the Indigo League, and we know that Pokemon can actually die, it leads to a lot of questions, but I have to go with this. My theory is that Ash's Butterfree has passed away. Not only him, but his wife as well. Now, I know a lot of you are probably screaming onto your computer screen, No! No! It can't be true! Stop right there! This hurts right in the feels! My apologies guys, but it's only a theory. Not sure if true or not, but got to look at it from this perspective. We know how Pokemon can grow old together, or how animals can live a certain lifespan. It ties together when you think about it a lot more. Remember the old Trico in Pokemon Advance? Remember Puka from the Indigo League? They were old, chances are they have passed away. I, they might not have, but who knows. But on subject, Butterfree has to have been with Ash for about 3-4 to four weeks until mating season, and if so, and he's gotten to the 6th week, he's probably passed. Butterfree could, I mean, could still be alive to this day. I'm not saying that isn't true, but with certain evidence and research and looking through this wholeheartedly, there's a 75 to 25 ideal that Butterfree has passed. I could be wrong, and I'm not saying, haha, he's dead, because that would just make me feel like a terrible person. If he has, then we'll forever miss him because he was an amazing Pokemon. I mean, Caterpie was adorable, Metapod was pretty cool, Butterfree was just a real MVP at times and was real. A really amazing Pokemon. Ash's first fully evolved Pokemon. We know Pidgeotto wasn't, and Pikachu's not really fully evolved. So we have to go with Butterfree was Ash's first fully evolved Pokemon. 
Now, if he's lit alive and made a surprise return, unlike best wishes almost made us assume he was, then this theory was absolutely wrong and I'll wholeheartedly accept it. If so, then that's that. But it's just a theory. So I hope you guys really enjoyed and thought about it. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If there's any sort of theory you would like for me to discuss about, I am open to all ideas and hope to hear from you guys on this theory. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace out.